Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. You guys, in today's video, we are tackling a home project. Yes. There's an area of our house that is rarely seen by anyone other than us. Yeah. And I opened the doors today and was just like, Ugh. nope, no more, <laughs> no more. And it's actually not like horrible. It just could be a lot better. Um, and I don't think it's gonna actually gonna take us like very long. No, it's not a really difficult project and we're not tackling it really the way like the end product that we want yep this is just sort of like a band-aid until we can afford to do what we really actually want to this space so let's go down show you the space let's show you what we're gonna do but i think we also will tell you what we want to do yeah our ultimate plan the ultimate goal so <laughs> let's go show you all right sherry the project is right in here yep. you guys this is our little did you struggle with that one i saw <laughs> this is our laundry closet um oh god it's just a mess like there's just there's so much happening here and we have like no storage in this house the only adam's hitting pans behind yep sorry uh the only like closets we have are in bedrooms yeah and so like this is really the only non-bedroom like closet and so everything else just kind of ends up in here it's a mess. Okay, so here's the plan. Up here is just like kitchen appliances, which Sherry, by the way, I need to tell you that you were right. In our recent video, I talked about the egg bite maker we got. It is an appliance. It's a small kitchen appliance. Yeah, I know. You were right, I was wrong, basically always. <laughs> um, and so stuff just gets put up here. However, there's a bunch of space up there that is unused unused yeah and there's also kind of some space down here that is unused so the thought is to buy one of those like racks that comes up to like maybe here that we can put smaller things on up there mm -hmm. and then up here to buy a rack that is maybe yay tall mm -hmm. that things can go on but or things can go under but then some things can go above yes so we have already improved this space from what it was when we bought the house yep 14 years ago we added this shelf because this was just the only shelf in here yep and i felt like that was not helpful it was all. annoying and it's a lot taller than me well i was gonna say not only is it annoying but like you getting to that top shelf nearly impossible nearly so, impossible like all of all of this stuff was either on top of our dryer or like up here where i couldn't really reach it so, so we did add this shelf already, yep. but um, yeah, I think having kind of two shelves in one will be a little more helpful. And there's probably a couple things up here that can go to charity that yeah, we can get rid of, just some things we can organize a little bit better. So that is our plan for this. Also, I just have like energy drinks here. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Why? As you do. Okay, now let's tell them our ultimate kind of goal for this space, what our plan is. Yes, so our big plan that's going to be much more expensive yeah <laughs> is we want to replace the washer and dryer with mm -hmm. stackables yep and but like the nice stack like the really nice stackables. not like the apartment stackables we had when we first got married in our condo you fit like half a sock and that's it <laughs> like you that's it you wash one sock at a time yeah okay do you hear her <laughs> missy i'm trying to film a video wow all right she's finishing up a soup <laughs> Okay. All right. Missy. I'm trying to film a video here. Okay. Zero cares. Nope. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so we want to get stackables. Yep. Probably on this side. Yep, which means that these shelves actually will go away. These will just go completely away. Yep. And so we want to do the stackables on the side just because of where the door hits. Mm -hmm. So over here, there's a little ledge that's yep. built in that actually runs the length of the house. Mm-hmm. And so we can't really do anything about that ledge. Nope. And I feel like if we put stackables there, we're just gonna lose all of that space. Totally. And so the, over here, stackables. Great. And then over here, we want to do like a countertop with cabinets below yep. and shelves up. So that Like kind this, of all the way up. All the way up. Yep. So that this kind of stuff can kind of go like on the top of the cabinet. Cause that's all of our laundry stuff that we use when we're actually doing laundry. Right. Yep all the time and then you know stuff like the uh kasori and kitchenaid and, and that the kind of ice stuff cream that i actually use oh okay go down below where i can reach it in sure. the cabinets so they can just go away although i do want to ask people i want to know if they're like us 
do you guys remember when like the instant pot kind of things were a big deal and we were using them all the time could you tell me the last time we used it no actually yeah it's so like maybe the crock pot goes down crock pot goes down up. I don't know, we would arrange it, but like, that's kind of what I want to do is cabinets and countertop and then shelves and maybe more cabinets that would close so we don't have to see the mess. Yeah, so basically, stackables. I love the idea of a countertop right here because mm -hmm. like, just folding clothes. And right now, if we have laundry for downstairs, whether it's like towels for downstairs, that kind of stuff, we bring it all upstairs, fold, fold it, it, and then bring it back downstairs. Right. So if we had a space here to fold it, yeah. I just would love that. I agree. I, I promise, Sherry, I will move my energy drinks. They should just go in the fridge so that you can just drink them. I mean, that would make a lot of common sense. <laughs> okay, so today's project is making this better for now. A little more user-friendly. And I think that some just like stackable shelves, some shelving things, a little bit of purging is going to do it. So, yeah, I think so too. You ready? Yeah. Let's go to uh, Bed Bath and Thank Beyond. <laughs> so, here we are, Bed Bath and Beyond's where we're going to look. This is one of those projects um, where I wish we had a container store. Yes. I feel like they would have exactly what we need, yeah. but I'm hopeful that Bed Bath and Beyond has what we're looking for as well. So, this section is more like kitchen organizing sort of stuff. We've bought a lot of things from here, just like little baskets and things, but nothing, nothing really tall enough for like what we're looking for, I don't think. So I don't think this is gonna be the section. We're heading over and looking in the organization section. Fingers crossed this has what we need. Hmm. Sure, you see anything that would even work? Nope, nope me neither. <laughs> All right. Um, we're not crazy, right? Like these things, wait, what is this? Hold on, Sherry. What are like these? That's kind of what I was looking at down on the other side. Collapsible shoe racks. Are, like this is a very good possibility. Oh, okay. So this is seven and a half inches high, 10 and a half inches deep, 23 inches wide. So that would certainly work for part of it. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as deep as we were hoping for. But that might be okay. Mm -hmm. Dang it, this would be perfect if it didn't have the bottom two shelves. Yeah, but I think it wouldn't be very stable either. <sighs> sure, I found these. Um, it's, not very deep here. it's not very deep there. Hmm. It's also $40 for that one thing. Ugh. All right, I think we've made a decision. At least one decision. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go with this one. Yeah. Um, why? Well, I like this one because it's a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. Like that a little one. deeper. Yep. But this one holds more weight. Holds like six more pounds weight limit. Right. And this one, we will really only have two shelves because this one I think is going to be close enough to the ceiling we won't really be able to use it. Yeah, so we would just have those bottom two shelves. Right. But this one sits up a little bit so some of our really, really flat things can go on the bottom. We can kind of count and that as a shelf. And then we still have three shelves. Okay. I love it. So I think this will provide a little more space and weight. All right, so we got a couple other little plastic organizers. We're actually getting two of those. So between those two and that, and then purging and organizing. <sighs> Sherry, what do you think? We're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna give it a whirl. Whirl. All right, so kind of success? Uh, hopefully. Hopefully, it wasn't exactly what we'd wanted. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely went to the store knowing that it was a bit of a long shot to find exactly what we wanted though. Yes, correct. So let's go home and uh, hopefully get this. I'm hitting things, I'm sorry. Wow get this project done. <laughs> All right, we're back home and starting to kind of take stuff down. Um, I think the first step is to like purge. If there's anything up here that just like needs to get donated to charity or maybe moved out to the shed, I think that's what we're gonna do first. All right, so one of the things that we are doing is like finding other like storage containers for stuff. Mm -hmm. And we had that giant bag of baking soda just kind of like sitting up there. Right. And so we moved it into one of those containers. And Sherry's getting used to her label maker. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sherry, love it. Mm -hmm. 
Look at you do love your label maker. <laughs> like, does it make you happy when you get to use it? Yes. Now Sherry just had the idea to use that for the OxyClean as well. Yeah, because it will stack. And like, we hardly ever use the baking soda and then they're not taking their own footprint. <sighs> You're so smart. Okay, so I am getting everything kind of down off the top of the shelf because I want to clean. clean all of there. And Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. I just realized something. What? Um, what is this? Uh, it's, it's the second one. It's a KitchenAid. We don't need it, do we? But we have that KitchenAid. So, donate sell. I say, yeah, donate or sell. <laughs> well, that clears up some space. Yes, it does. I didn't even think about it. Neither did I. Um, one thing we found in our laundry closet <laughs> are three of these little like hacks. What? How much sawing are we doing? that I felt like I needed three of them. Especially when you're like the least handy person ever. <laughs> you know, why do I even own three? If I had one, it would be more, it'd be one more than I ever would need. Correct. I That's don't fine. Know. So Sherry's been going around with some Lysol wipes and just kind of cleaning the top of all of this stuff. I just went up there and kind of Lysoled a bunch of that, got all the dust up. And then we have all sorts of stuff like this. Like, at some point in time, Wait, way to store light bulbs? <laughs> you don't think that's the best way to store light bulbs, Sherry? I don't. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like we need to kind of put some blues in there. I guess so. All right, so one thing that we are doing is on Amazon Prime Day, we ordered, let me show you this. It's like an entire container of little, what would you call these? Stuff? Like, yeah, cord <laughs> organizer things. Mm -hmm. um, and this was like, I don't know, I think there's 20 some in there for like 10 bucks. And so on some of these small appliances, we have, you know, dangling cords. So we're just going to use those on all of that. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. We have a bunch of things up here that are just like super random. Like this is a bag with all mosquito repellent stuff. <laughs> Benadryl itch relief, like the bends, the repel. So I don't know why that's in our laundry room. So we're gonna find a new spot for that, probably out with our camping stuff. And then we have like spray paint. I mean, who doesn't love some good graffiti, but don't know why that is in here as well. We have like an entire box of industrial vinyl gloves. Uh, there's just like so much stuff. And we found a box of just like mini white Christmas lights, a string of Christmas mm -hmm. lights. Um, yeah. Can I put them in my office? Ooh, new office? Yeah. I was gonna give them to charity. Instead, I'll give them to you. All right, progress being made. These shelves are uh, cleared off. Sherry Beth's over here putting together the wooden shelf. You can see we have a lot of stuff out here on the table that will be put away. And I am going to dust up here that has probably not been dusted since we bought the house. Okay, this is now in place. Sherry Beth should go, where did you go? Kind of like halfway in the middle? Should get pushed, like, all the way to the back? I don't know. I don't know either. I hmm. think aesthetically it's gonna look better centered. Centered, so like kind of right there? Centered this way. Oh, centered this way. Oh, geez. Yeah, what do you think? Is you, that gonna be harder to get stuff back there? You, my dear, are the one who went to school for interior design. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a course on laundry closets and three-tiered wooden shelves? Um, no. Hmm. Didn't. That's not helpful. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's let's just kind of look at what we have and figure it out. Yeah. Okay, we're making progress. I don't want to show you too much up there because I think it's actually gonna look really good. But we are <laughs> kind of. It's funny. I say we're making progress, and then I turn around and look at this, and I'm like, oh man. Maybe not so much progress. <sighs> So this is our charity box. So all the stuff that we're kind of like finding that we want to give away, going in here. Sherry, mm -hmm. we're getting close. We're getting close. How are you? We to make another trip. We're going to the store. Yo, okay, Indiana, <laughs> calm down. Um, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling good. I think it's looking good. I think that we have just a little bit more do. A last, a few more finishing touches will actually make it feel like help it feel finished. Yeah, I think so. Okay, back to the store. Yeah. All right, here we are, Fred Meyer. 
one stop. We think they're gonna have everything we need because we only need a few more little things to finish the project. The reality is like, we could kind of be done right now. Yeah, we could make it work like what we, with what we have, but, but I think it'll look better if we can just get these other little things. We're so close, let's just like finish it. All right, command strips. Um, we are looking for the command strip that like holds brooms in place. Have you guys seen those? We have them at home. And I'm actually, oh, right there, boom. How many of these do we need? Four. Four, one, two, three. Need some help up? Um, four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we found kind of what we're looking for more of the plastic kind of containers. Mm -hmm. um, things like that. We're just... Yeah? Is that all one big space behind it or is it divided? It's divided. Okay, that's kind of okay though, right? Maybe. Maybe? All right, one more thing that Sherry wanted was what? Well, we have a little trash can right now that our dryer lint goes in and then when it's full, we empty it. But, um, we want to move it, and so we were going to put it it's actually on the shelf, and it's too tall. So we wanted to get something smaller, and I think... So we're thinking about this. The utensil holder is going to be a good replacement. Basically just a little metal thing. The only thing ever really that goes in there is lint. It doesn't need a lot to hold a lot. No. All right. Maybe that's the winner. Or another option for the trash is a basket that would sit up there. And then just put like a trash bag in there. But I actually don't see a lot of, the only basket that I think kind of could work, I guess, is like this one. Just like, sit that on there. But yeah, I guess now that I look at the baskets, I don't think I love any of them. So let's stick with that. Okay, I think we found everything we needed. This was sort of on the list. We're going for makeup organizers. Yep. For the screws and the nails and that kind of stuff. I it's actually in one giant bucket. I actually think this is a genius idea. Nice. Let's go home and show them our idea for that. Yeah. So now that we're home, we're kind of in the last big push mm -hmm. to finish stuff. Um, Sherry, I say we put the camera down and we finish and then next time they see us, big the big reveal. <laughs> Sherry Beth, mm -hmm. are we done? I think so. And before we show them, I want to know, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's much better than it was. Yes, much more organized. We found places for things that we hadn't even expected to find places for, so... Is this, since we moved in, how many years ago? 14. 14 years ago when we bought this place. Yeah, a little over. Is this the best this has looked? Yes, I think so. The most organized it has looked. All right, so before I show them, I want you guys to remember the chaos. Just like stuff everywhere, no <laughs> order. Oh, here it is. So. It's so much better. Much better. So let me show you guys kind of what we have here. Blender crock pot. Mm -hmm. Here in the middle, we have that wooden shelf. Down here, we have our charcuterie board, our cooking stones, our baking stones, which we didn't even think we'd have room for. Right. Our platter. Yep. These were just like on top of the microwave. That's where they've always lived. And we've, I don't like them up there, but like we've never really had anywhere else for them. Now they go there. We've got trivets right here. Uh -huh. We have our Clorox like floor cleaning things there. Our food saver, we just got right there. Our immersion blender. Up here we have two of our like mini waffle makers, egg bite maker, Mickey waffle maker. Over here, they have our like instant pot pressure thing, some tools and stuff down there. And then this is the shelf that is like the most amazing to me because it was so cluttered. cluttered. Yep. Water detergent bleach. Um, this, I actually think I would like to get a plastic container, something kind of like that, but a little bit bigger for those to stand up in. I think I agree. I just don't love that. Mm -hmm. I do love this, the baking soda and the OxyClean in there. Yep. Our new trash can where lint can go right in there. Yep. And then we have like stain remover stuff, the doTERRA lavender that we add to our laundry. Um, much better spot light for the light bulbs <laughs> than that big thing. Uh, we'll come back and talk about this whole area in just a minute. Yep. But then all of the tools 
that we use on kind of the regular basis, right down there. And then the broom, mop, mop and then the little like grabber thing. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, much better. Holy cow. So, so, so much better. What a difference. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about those little cosmetic drawers for a minute. Okay. Okay, so, so this, first of all, I bought this tub, and I talked about it in a vlog before, at a yard sale for mm -hmm. like five bucks, probably 15 years ago. Long time ago. <laughs> and basically what it is, is it is just full of screws and nails and just all of this kind of stuff, right? Right. And I, I just think something like this is so handy to have when you need. And uh, it is. Yeah, but it's chaos. It's chaos, and I don't like chaos. And so what we're going to do is kind of divide these into, like, screws and nails and then, like, miscellaneous. And then things that need to stand up. There's two little cubbies here. And so, like... So your, your plan... This guy can, like, stand up in here. So your plan is you're actually going to go through this whole thing. Yes, and just like the most basic sort, like screws and nails. Huh? And so basically like screws will be in there. Nails will be in there. And mm -hmm. then like maybe like nuts and bolts in there. We have like picture hangers. Picture hangers, exactly. And I don't need we to have know what's in here. Wooden dowels. Oh, Those are nails. little like finishing nails. Sure. And so we just have like little hooks, right? And then you get in here and there are all sorts of plastic anchors. And I don't even know why that's there. It's just a lot of stuff, and I feel like we can organize it better and actually yep. be able to use what we have in here. Totally. So you're going to kind of go through, and this isn't going to be a tonight project. This is going to yeah. be like a several day. As I have time and feel like sort of sorting through this. But how nice is that going to be to be able to have a little bit of order to Very nice. the nuts and bolts chaos here? <laughs> I love it. But... Sherry, look at you. You're amazing. <laughs> it's already more organized than it's been in years. Yes. <laughs> so, you guys, what do you think about this? I think it's great. Oh my gosh, it is so much better. Like, this is, it's crazy that this is the same space. We got rid of the ice cream maker, we put it out in our shed. We did have a big box of stuff that's going to charity. Yep. We have a bunch of other things that went out to the shed, and... I'm so proud of us. Yeah. So when we woke up this morning, we had no idea this was going to be something we were going to tackle today. Right. But I'm glad that we did. I'm glad we did too. Um, it's again, one of those places that it's easy to not tackle because we're the only ones who see it. It's not like we see it every single day. Right. And we just close the doors and walk away from it. That's the thing. It's the, it's the kind of space you can close the doors <laughs> and walk terrible. away. Close the door. Yep. But now I don't mind when the doors are open. Right. It looks much better. So thanks for your help. Thank you for your help. You're very welcome. <laughs> you guys want to know in the comments below, how'd we do? What'd you think? Also, what do you think about our ultimate goal for that space? I love the idea of a stackable. It's going to be expensive because we will have to replace the washer and dryer and get the stackable and get a new little countertop and more shelves. And it's going to be more expensive. But I think that when it's done, it'll be really great. It'll be worth it. Yeah. I have no doubt it'll be worth it. So maybe someday, maybe in the next seven years of Lug Life on YouTube, you guys will see, you guys will see that, friends. Yeah. We love you so much, and we'll see you on the next Lug Life video.